Welcome back. And in this video, I'll show you how to use the split function in Google Sheets and how we can use FMP to pull the financial ratios for each company and make a comparison list. All right, so first we will create a new sheet and A1 will be our variable cell. And we'll start with Amazon, make this blue, bold, 18, and center it. Okay, for A2, we'll go equals, index, FMP, profile, A1, header one, close parentheses, comma two, nine. Okay, and that gives us amazon.com. Next we'll go equals FMP stock peer list to A1, one for header, and that'll give us our peer list for Amazon. And in this case, it's splitting it by sector. And for this, it's consumer cyclical. Okay, now we need to use the split function to break all of these out into cells. To do that, we can go to cell B7 and go equals split B5, comma, quote, comma, space, quote, close parentheses. And what split is doing is we're using what's called the delimiter, which is the character used to split the text. And the reason why we have this is we're putting it in quotes because this is what we want to use. And in our split cell, we can see that there's a comma and a space between each text. And that's what we're splitting. For the other two options in the syntax, they return true by default. So we can just leave those. Okay, now that we have that split for our ratios, we'll start in cell A9 and go equals transpose index FMP ratios and we'll use trailing 12 months call back to a1 close parentheses comma and we're going to bring in the first row and that'll give us all of our headings we can double click that stretch it out okay next we need the company name for each of these in b8 we'll go equals index FMP profile and here we'll go b7 comma header for one, and then we're indexing two nine, which is just gonna be the company. And then we can drag this out all the way to Lulu. Okay, and next we'll bring in all of our ratios. So for this, we'll go equals, transpose, index again, FMP ratios, TM, back to our symbol, B7 in this case, close parentheses, two, close, close parentheses. So that'll give us all of our trailing 12 month ratios for Tesla. And here, once again, we can drag this box over and it'll fill out. Okay, now we wanna compare this to our variable company for Amazon in this case. So up here, we can go averages because we wanna know what the average is for this sector and compare it to Amazon to see if this is beneficial or not. So what we can do here is go equals. We're gonna go average if, and we'll select all these cells, go comma, quote, and we're gonna say if it's not zero, then use it. And we can drag that down. And lastly, we can include our company we're analyzing. So we'll go Amazon, we can copy this over and we can copy cell over. Okay, and that'll give us Amazon. Now you can see the possibilities here where we can continue with this list. We can create conditionals or signals. If Amazon has a much lower peg ratio or PE or quick or current ratio than any of these other companies in the sector. So I hope this was helpful. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye.